This is Dark Castle here. We are about to take a look at Skeletor from Sideshow. Um, this is a co-piece. This is a piece I bought um, to go along with He-Man. I got them at the same time because it just they just had to go together. <laughs> and um, also, I got it because this was another piece, unlike the PCS ones, that um, it was done a little different. Now this is the exclusive head on it, so this is the one that's done like the cartoon. I'll let you now, let you know now. I don't ever use it. Um, it stays in the box because I like the regular head that came with it better than the exclusive. But um, they still they did a good job on it. I love the way they did the body of them. And, um, you know, I like all, I like the stuff with the robe. I like the idea that. The, the lava or whatever is formed from the snake, it almost looks like it would glow. Um, that that kind of would have been a cool touch if it could glow in the dark. I would like that. I know Rick don't like light, <laughs> but but this is like you know glow, not 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 necessarily a light up effect, just you know glow in the dark type of thing. <laughs> but um, yeah, this, this is this is. Um, the second part to my Masters of the Universe collection, and um, you know, I'm happy with it. it. It looks really good next to He-Man. So I think uh, this is, uh, you know, of course, I met Darth Vader before I met Skeletor, but Skeletor, I would have to say, is where I got my love of grimy villains, because they get no grimy than Skeletor. Trust me, and and. The way he used to cut up Beast Man all the time, he used to have me crazy. And so I've always loved Skeletor, you know what I mean? And I remember when, when he was, he, Rodney had ordered this one, and I was at us, and I mean, he got used to regular head, you know, because, you know, tradition, all that garbage. But, uh, you know, after seeing the, 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 uh, the regular, you know, it, it's, it ain't no question that one is, uh, hands down, uh, Make, it makes the, takes the piece to another level for me. And uh, now when I see this head, it kind of reminds me of uh, Sons of Anarchy Reaper, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. with the mouth open and everything. I mean, it's still good because that's how he looked in the, on the show. His skull, the skull was yellow and everything, and you know, no pupils, obviously, because he's skull. But uh, the, the, go, ahead, go ahead and throw the, uh, the regular head on there so they can you know. take a look at it. <clears throat> but uh, it's, it's a beautiful piece. The bass alone one of the coolest bases I've seen is obviously it's got to be it's, it's meant to be Snake Mountain you know and uh, it, anybody who remembers Snake Mountain it was lava flowing and everything and it's it's really done well really good. Yeah, there you go with the the regular head mm -hmm. that's the one that comes with it and um like I just because I just because of when I got it I ended up getting the exclusive but um I would not have had my feelings hurt if the only thing available was the regular. I think, I know they did a lot of fan service with the exclusive and, you know, making it yellow, like the cartoon and everything. I just feel like a lot more work was put into that head. Hmm. Um, I, I, like the, I like the way the eyes look on that one, where they look like they're almost lit up. And I'll get some close pictures because you probably can't see it from here. But um, the eyes almost look like they could be fiery and, and lit up. And it's just, you know, I, I just think it was a lot more detail done in that one than in this one. But, um, but also, you know, I'm the one that was trying to get away from the cartoon image, the way it looked like when I was a kid. So that one, that one was the one I had to go with. I, I just noticed something, man. Uh, okay. Have you seen... Hordak is on his belt. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. That was um, that on on the the PVC portion of the statue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like, they, that Hordak? They have Hordak right here. Yeah, and, um, yeah. They they put tons of detail into these pieces. Um, you know, like I said when we were talking about He Man, I wish I could have stayed with it. I just I had a different idea for what she should look like. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I I, I I like the woman that looks like she could beat your ass, mm -hmm. beat your ass. So something more like Red Sonya, 
the way they did um, the way they did Sheba wasn't wrong. Mm -hmm. It was it was the it way the like cartoon. cartoon. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah it, it was the way the cartoon was. It's just not what I feel like. This is a reimagining mm -hmm. of the Heat Man Masters of the Universe universe, and um, I don't feel like they did that with Sheba. Mm -hmm. You know, so so it may just be these two for now. But we'll we'll see what they come up with later. See if I'm gonna stick with it. Yeah, hopefully, like we said before, hopefully they do a Tila. Um, hopefully they reimagine it like this. So Man at Arms would be a good one if they could uh, get it to this specification, you know. But uh, the, the Shira does. It looks almost, you know, looks like the, like pop culture show, shock made it, you know, because it looks just like the cartoon. But this doesn't. This is the armor. Just the, the arm, like this one. I would say has a lot more detail than He Man, like with the armor and mm -hmm. uh, even the, the face and the skull and everything, the staff, the, the ram on the end of the staff, everything. I mean, they, they've they've got the perfect merge. It's just enough that reminds you of the cartoon, but they pushed it a little further. You know what I mean? And and made it as if now this this does not remind me of the movie for some reason. Uh, mm -hmm. The skeletal because the. Uh, Frank Langella played Skeletor back in the day. He 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 was a little doughy, and this dude been doing his cardio. You know? oh, yeah. uh, so uh, you know, but this the armor on on this alone is, is just spectacular. You know what I mean? The detail in here is, is very very sick. You know, I, I like the <laughs> the ragged robe. You know, the robe is made of you know, different stitches and it's just stitched up, and it's dirty and you know, like the He-Man one was dirty, but the He-Man mm -hmm. one wasn't, you know, different stitches of fabric. Yeah, this is like a little bit more one, ragged. Yeah, you this know. one is, is a little more cut up. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but then it also, if you look on the inside of it, it has a nice touch, uh, you know, with different material on the inside. So I, I, I'm impressed with that. You know, my, my one complaint um, with it is how loose the hands are. <laughs> you know, yeah. like this, this is way loose you know you can take this and move and i don't know maybe they wanted to give you some play on the hands yeah, so i could i don't, I don't think so yeah because I, I don't want that because you know it, we're sitting here doing the interview and, and, it's, it's, and it's moving yeah yeah, yeah but I, if you hit the table and i'm you know yeah. I'm not doing it now. <laughs> now you don't want to do it. I got stuff. it wedged in. The yeah. chop saw. Oh, rewind the tape. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, it, it moves a little bit more than it should. Uh, I don't know if I'm, maybe the peg is just too loose. Like, you know, don't give us wiggle room with it. Put it in place so it's supposed to stay. Um, same thing with this hand. You know, it's, you know, this one is, isn't as bad to me because it's just the hand. It's mm -hmm. not a hand attached to the staff. And the magnet on this one is strong, but yeah, it still wiggles. Like it, it'll still move around if I wanted to. Um, that's my one. That's it. Yeah. That's the only thing about it that I'm like, eh, they should go back and work on. Everything else, I, I, I'm very impressed with. Yeah, Skeletor. This Skeletor um, <laughs> looks like he could give He-Man a little bit of a go. <laughs> you know, he he's been doing some work, and um. Like I said, I, I love the regular head that comes with it. Um, it would have been, it would be really cool if they could work with, you know, how the XM cable, I guess the eye lights mm -hmm. up, like it glows in the dark. Yeah. If they could put some kind of sneaky Easter egg like that on it, I don't know if they would use what, like glow in the dark paint or something. Something like they'd probably have to hire kind of gloss or something like that. Yeah. But, I don't know how XM did it, but, yeah. but like for the eyes or for the lava or you know whatever's coming out of the snake's mouth, um, they did something like that. That would that would be a nice little Easter egg, I think, to add to it. But um, it's a very good piece, very nice looking. Um, a one one fifth scale. Yeah, okay. one yeah, it's one fifth scale. Um, when I first had when I first got this, it was in the detail along with He Man and. Um, Fit in there fine, no problem. You know, for a base like this, you know, the base is detailed, but it's not, you know, it's not huge. And um, it fits, fits great. It doesn't look too small. It's, 
Uh, this, this is why I, I probably agree with you. It, like, fits just right. Mm. As far as well, sounds scale like. usually does. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like about it. Yeah. <coughs> but, um, yeah. I don't know. Anything else? No, nah, that's, that's about We're going to do a few close ups for you. And, uh, but I would say you got a chance to hop on this one. No question, because the detail is impeccable, especially on the armor. The, Hilt of the sword, the staff, I think, is one of my favorite parts of it. I love the pose. Uh, he's, it's kind of polar opposite. He's kind of walking down out of Skull Snake Mountain where he man sort of like he's walking up into uh, uh, Castle Grayskull, you know. Yeah. So um, it's, it's kind of a contrast the way they've done that, you know. But uh, yeah, other than that, I'd say this is a all system go if you got a chance to get a hold of this one and you're a Masters of the Universe fan. and yeah, I'd say it's a no brainer. Yeah, the price on this one is like four fifty. So it, it like like with the E Man, these came out at very reasonable prices, um I think. So these these two, if they still got them, this this isn't you know that much this isn't a painful purchase. <laughs> you know. This is this, especially if you're a fan of it. It's a good price and it's a good gift. That means you're approaching 40 if you are. <laughs> right, right. You, you know about the He Man cartoons mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And, um, you know, I hope they do some other ones. Beast do, Man. Do a vicious Beast, Beast Man. Man. Please, uh, yeah. Yeah. Do one that'll Beast scare Man. my kids. Yes. A Beast Man that'll scare my kids, you know, drooling. Clear resin drool, everything. Yeah, yeah. just scary looking. You know, look at some of your quarter dead stuff. Yes. And do a beast man. Yes. That's scary and not cartoon. Whip. Must and, have a whip. And, and yeah. I'll, I'll jump back into this world. If Guaranteed. Something like that comes. So. That's it. We out. <laughs> <laughs>